If you are looking for scholarly sources, the NJCTL library is a great place to start. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the ProQuest database through the NJCTL library. Many of these techniques are also applicable through other databases, such as ERIC. You can access ProQuest by going to the library course on Moodle and clicking on ProQuest. From here, you can enter your search terms and click the search icon. For example, if I were looking for articles on teaching engineering to elementary school students, I might enter engineering elementary and then click search. From here, there are two search tips I want to emphasize, filtering and pro growing. Again, these techniques apply to any database, but I'm going to show you them on ProQuest. So first up, filtering. ProQuest has quite a few filters that you can see off to the side here. I always recommend that you limit to full text, so that you only see resources you can read right away. You may also want to filter by source type if you know that you are looking for something like scholarly journals or trade journals. In this case though, I'm just gonna keep it open. I do want to, uh, to read more recent articles, so I'm going to filter by the last five years. Okay, so you can see this narrows my results down quite a bit from 59,000 to 24,000. So that's filtering, and it's an easy way to narrow an overwhelming amount of results to something more manageable. The other strategy I want to show you is called pearl growing. What this means is I find some really good articles and use those to expand my search and find other articles. So let me search through these results. And hmm, okay, this one looks promising. Engineering design in the elementary science classroom. I might read the abstract and make sure that it is uh, interesting and relevant for me. Um, and if so, I might read the entire article. Even if it's not useful, I could use this to find other articles by clicking around on various links on the page. There are a few things I wanna highlight. First, if you see cited by, that's gonna help you find newer articles that have cited this one. Um, so, especially if this were an older article, it's a, it's a good way to find newer articles. You might click on references, and that's gonna help you find older articles that this one cites, um, usually fairly relevant. You could also try documents with shared references. Um, and another way to find related articles is just by browsing related items right here on the side. Finally, I might click on abstract details. From here, I can see the subject terms that describe this article, such as discourse analysis, elementary education, or design engineering. These can help me think of other search terms to use, and I can even click right on the term to find more articles with these search terms. I might also click on the names of the authors to find other articles by those authors, because often authors write a lot of articles on similar topics. So as you can see, once you find a few really useful articles, those can help you find similar articles on the topic so you can refine your search. So that's pro growing and filtering. If after following these search tips, you are still having trouble finding what you need, don't hesitate to reach out. My email is jennifer at njctl.org and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.